If you've ever downloaded or bought Procreate brushes, but you're not sure how to import them into Procreate so that you can actually use them, this is the video for you. Hi, my name is Jaslyn. I am a Procreate brush maker, and today I'm going to show you how to import brushes and brush sets that you've downloaded or bought into Procreate. So the first step is to make sure you have the files on your iPad. So I usually either download them directly from the website and save them to my files on my iPad, or I download them to my laptop or my computer and then I airdrop them across to my iPad and save them into a folder on my files. If you're struggling with getting your files onto your iPad, please let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to help you. I'm gonna start by importing the free sample brush set that you can download from my website. When you sign up for my newsletter, you get the free brushes emailed to you in a zip file. So to unzip the file on an iPad, you can just tap it or you can hold it and say uncompress and then it should create a folder for you with the files inside. So now I'm gonna tap the folder and you'll see that you get the Procreate file. This is a dot brush set file. If it doesn't look like this, you might be using a list or even columns, but I'm just gonna go back to list and you'll see that this is a dot brush set file. I also give you instructions on how to install your brushes. Yeah, you'll see that it says Jessalyn sample brushes dot brush set and there are a couple different ways you can import it. The easiest way that should work is just by tapping it and that will import it directly into Procreate and it will be the first brush set in your brush library. If that doesn't work, you might need to tap and hold onto the brush set like this and then you should see an option to say open in. I don't have that option, but I have open a new window and then over here it says open in Procreate. If you don't have that option, you might have this little button over here. You can tap on that and then you should be able to select Procreate from this list over here. And again, that should import it and it will be the first brush in the brush library. If you've downloaded or purchased an individual brush, these are a little bit different because you'll just get a dot brush file. Again, this might be in a zip folder that you have to unzip, but it will be a dot brush file instead of a brush set file. It's slightly different just to indicate that it's an individual brush instead of a group of brushes. And again, you can just tap to import that but now your brush will be all the way at the bottom. I have a lot of brush sets. <laughs> it will be in your imported file and there you will see at the top of my imported brush set, it will be the brush that you've just imported. Again, if that doesn't work, you can tap and hold and you can also say share and that will open this drop down where you should see Procreate. So you can tap Procreate and it will again be in your imported set of brushes. If you're wanting to import something else into Procreate, like a PDF or an image that is saved to your files, you can just tap the import button, tap what you're wanting to import, and that will open it for you in Procreate, if, if you can open it in Procreate. If this video has helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Procreate videos and tutorials. I'll see you in the next one.